There is nothing more uncomfortable and embarrassing than having wet sweat patches under your arms. So in this video, I'll be showing you the best three preventative methods to stop this from happening. This is an issue that loads and loads of guys seem to have. Walking around nightclubs, stinking of sweat, and with two black patches under their arms. Even on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm sure you've had an experience of sitting on a bus and then someone who smells terrible because the sweating loads comes and sits next to you. Pretty awkward, right? But there are simple things, easy things, that guys are missing out on doing. The first one is they're not using a good enough antiperspirant. It amazes me that so many guys still haven't discovered what antiperspirants are. They'll apply stuff like body spray and cologne, no problem. But they're not even using any form of antiperspirant. And really all this means is that the cologne is a last ditch attempt to mask the disgusting smell from your underarms. And also you need to make sure you know the differences between your typical deodorants and your typical antiperspirants. Because loads of dudes seem to think these are exactly the same thing. In most cases, they're actually different. Deodorants can act to make you generally smell a bit nicer, whereas antiperspirants act to stop sweat. If you're just using your deodorants on your underarms and you're wondering why you're still sweating quite a lot, then that's probably because you haven't tried an antiperspirant yet. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, there are a bunch of different antiperspirants. And in all truth, a lot of them I don't find to be very effective at all. You need to try a bunch of different ones that you can get access to. Often some of the smaller brand stuff like this one perform better. I've got a video coming up soon on this channel covering a bunch of different antiperspirants. I'll be testing and reviewing them to let you know which are best. So if you wanna see that one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, although antiperspirants are good and I think they're an essential, they don't always do the job. In certain circumstances, you're still gonna be sweating. Let's say you've got a high pressure job. You live in a really hot environment or maybe you do quite a lot of moving about in your day job. You're gonna need the extra step in terms of protection. The next step that you're gonna need to not only protect against sweat, but to also make your clothes feel more comfortable is an undershirt. And you can see this one does a darn good job of blending into my skin. Now the one that I'm wearing in this video is from today's video sponsor, Rib Tea. And this is the neutral creamy color which blends in really well with my skin tone. So when I've got my shirt on, you can't even tell that I've got anything underneath. These undershirts are not only really soft underneath to make your clothes feel more comfortable, but they're made of a special fabric that's 50% more absorbent than regular cotton. So the next time that you're getting hot, these undershirts act to absorb the sweat before it reaches the outer layer. Since trying these undershirts, I really haven't looked back. I'm now wearing these every single day, whether it's for work or play, because it means it's just one less thing to worry about. In most cases, this, in combination with the antiperspirant, just does the job. And the great thing with Rib Tea in particular is they have such a variety of different types of undershirts that can suit you. For instance, in this one, because I've got a button-down shirt on, I don't want something that's gonna be showing through underneath. As such, I went for the deep V-neck, so I can keep my buttons open without it being visible. And it also stops any irritation from things like buttons or logos underneath the shirt. I'll leave a link to Rib Tea in the description below, including a discount code exclusive to every of my viewers so that you can get a nice, chunky discount on your order. Make sure you head to the description and check out some of these awesome undershirts. The extra layer is really important. And that leads us nicely onto tactic number three, which is utilize layers. Now, one of the primary reasons that loads of guys end up sweating is because they're bad when it comes to choosing the types of layers they're wearing. Normally, it's because they're not wearing enough layers. For instance, on a day like today, it's pretty nice outside. Um, I'll see plenty of guys going for t-shirts, but then because they're a little bit cold, throwing a big coat over the top. And the problem is, this really doesn't leave you with many options at all. You're either going to be slightly too cold with the t-shirt on or quite a bit too hot with the coat on. The best bet here really is, rather than just having the two standard layers have, I know, a t-shirt followed by then a jumper and then a thin jacket on the top. Because really, you can always put on and remove layers. If you were starting to get just a little bit too warm, you can take a thin jacket off the top. And this isn't gonna leave you freezing cold like it would have done with the big jacket and t-shirt. And this similarly works if you're on a night out, for instance. If you know that you're gonna be in an area that's really hot, like in a nightclub, why are you going wearing a really thick jumper? In all truth, it's quite rare that I go clubbing these days. But when I do, I always go for a long sleeve shirt. Because here in the UK, if you're queuing outside a club, it can get pretty cold. And I see the vast majority 
of guys in these queues either wearing a t-shirt and freezing to death in the queue or wearing a really thick jumper and being great when outside but then boiling up as soon as they step in. With something that's in the middle, I can easily roll the sleeves down if I want to. I can take down or do up as many buttons as I want. And I've always got that undershirt layer underneath to keep me protected. I also want to throw in at the end of this video, the many different concoctions of things I've seen online to stop sweating. People saying, throw baking soda on your underarms, pour vinegar on yourself, or sellotape a tampon onto the inside of your shirt. In all truth, you don't need to be doing this. These sorts of crazy measures are overkill. But if you are one of these guys who has a real sweating problem and you just can't stop sweating, even if you've tried all these tactics, then there's only one more step I think you should take. And that is number one, see a doctor. Or alternatively, go for one of these fully medicated antiperspirants. These clinical strength ones that you put on your underarms and they keep you dry for like a week and a half. Apparently these things do come with some risks attached because as a human, you've got to sweat at some time to keep your body regulation systems in check. But I'd certainly rather go down that route than any of these stupid, crazy ideas. I want to hear in the comments below to this video, if you're buying an undershirt, what type of neck would you go for? Would you be choosing a crew neck or would you be choosing a V-neck based on what sort of things you wear? Let me know down below. If you found the video useful, make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see similar videos just like this one about how to style your hair and what to wear, then make sure you press subscribe too, as well as the bell next to it as well, so that YouTube actually tells you when I upload a new video. And I'll see you on the next one.